And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frozen Fortune. This deck's going to be all about winning combat. We're going to be using our Frostbite stuff and combining it with some challengers and with some vulnerable. You know, challengers are like Rhymefang Wolf, um, vulnerable. We have Yee Ben Warned, Hired Gun, even Sheriff Lariat, Rose at the top end, Razor Skill Hunter. So we can uh, basically have combat happen how we want. And then, you know, we have our Frostbite with Ash. We have um, Misfortune in here helping our attacks. Vulnerable is really good with Ash because whenever Ash attacks, of course, as you know, you Frostbite the strongest enemy. But then they can just block Ash with something else. But if you have Vulnerable, um, especially if it's the strongest enemy that's Vulnerable, then whenever you attack, you can have Ash challenge that strongest enemy and uh, because of the Vulnerable, and then you also Frostbite it and it makes your attack really good. And that's basically the, the theory behind this deck. Now what I am worried about is I do think that we probably have um, too many spells, not enough units, and maybe not quite enough card draw. Like maybe we could get a little bit of card draw in here with like Averroes and Sentries or Babbling Bjergs, things like that. But we're gonna play the, the list as is and we'll see if that ends up being a problem. Basically what I'm what I'm worried about with this many spells, you know, Brittle Steels, Elixir of Iron, like all of these spells are individually, like they're all good cards, but they're good cards usually to support having a good curve of units. And I could just see games like where um, with this much evenness here, maybe we'll have like two units and five spells and that could happen probably, you know, pretty often with, with this kind of deck. Um, and therefore we won't really be able to curve out um, and have too many spells. That's what I'm kind of worried about, but we're gonna play it as is because this is a donation deck. So this was a viewer submitted deck. Um, and of course, like. Also, you know, with playing Hunter, Lariat, Rose, those two, don't, like that's six units there that really aren't units that help you curve out because they're pretty expensive units. So really you're looking at like 18 units that are ones that you want early on and you have, you know, like 20, uh, 22 cards uh, that are not those. So we'll see. That's, you know, it's less than half of our deck. Um, that's the one thing that I'm worried about kind of going into the games, but I could be wrong. Like I said, each one, it's not like any of these spells are bad. They're all individually good at cards, but we're going to be mulliganing spell. Like every single spell in our hand, we're just going to mulligan basically because the opportunity of drawing more spells is very, uh, very prevalent. And they're all kind of interchangeable because they're all good in their own way. Um, Omenhawk's amazing. Definitely like our best card to start with. Alright, and so we got four. Four of those 18 that we're looking for in the opener. Very good. And I'll just pass turn. I think we can wait on the archer and try to get better value out of that, especially against a deck like this. Like, this is going to be a removal heavy deck. You got your make it rains. Right, like, I just play Ice Veil Archer, they play make it rain. That's not a very good a trade for me. Okay, so Powder Keg. Hmm. Speaking of, make it rain. I guess I'm going to put the one health thing out there. I probably should have played, especially with drawing the Elixir of Iron, I should have played Ash pre-combat, I think. It's just, Powder Keg is... For the next kill. Hmm. 
Powder Keg is just so scary. Kind of the bad part about Cotton and Cold and you've been warned. They are slow speed. I don't really want to play them before going to combat, but I think I kind of have to. Even though I don't want to. Let's see. Slow speed can be rough. Um, yeah, slow speed can be rough. So playing these two first, and then gonna be playing Misfortune afterwards. Which, maybe I just need to have Fury of the North available to be able to protect Ash. I guess I probably do, because if I play Misfortune, then it's very easy for them to kill Ash. We're gonna play Misfortune. Prettier when you smile. That's six. There's blood in the Playing the hunter, you know, while it'd be better to play the sheriff, I want to be able to have this fury up for protection. one of those. Awesome. 
All right, got that thing out of there. It was at seven out of eight. It's definitely very good to get that out of there right then. Oh, when the days work. Now, let's see. We attack out. We don't want that thing to die. Maybe I don't attack with Misfortune. I don't know. Is this even a good trade? Maybe not. How, how do we beat Leviathan Swain? How do we do that? Be a tough one. Whoa, that's a huge host. Uh, share Micos bringing it in. Welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Hawk Tai. We are uh, currently playing some Frozen Fortune, so an Ash Misfortune deck. Uh, the opponent is being kind of rude over here, killing all my stuff. Not cool. <laughs> but your name, no. My bad. So, we're going to be playing four different decks. That's what we do every day, is play four different decks. These, these three are viewer-submitted donation decks. That's what the two Ds up in the corner, uh, up in the left-hand corner mean. But that's our schedule over here. Um... Yeah, looks like this is game. I don't have a harsh winds. That's what we would need to stay alive. Um, no matter how I block, we, we take two from the house spider. We take three. Well, let's see. Wait. No, I guess. Let's see. Wait. If I go there, there. Me, and then uh, frostbite this thing. I guess that keeps me alive. Doesn't really keep me alive for much, because I have no cards. They still have two units in play and five cards in hand. <laughs> Who's on top of the bounty board today? Is it uh, Shermie Koss? Maybe. All right, faster. Dark in the skies. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about the card advantage in this deck. We're about too many spells and no card advantage. But I wanna wanna play it as is. Whose animation deck was this? Okay. From a legendary Teemo. Okay, that's it. There we go. That's better. Cause yeah, maybe even just some units like Avros and Century and and Babbling Beard, just units like that that can even draw. That could be kind of good for this deck, or maybe some Salvages instead of so many other spells. There are, you know, it does have like the the Vulnerable. Then if it dies, you draw a card. Our last hand, like, that was a really good hand for us, and we got destroyed <laughs> by just super powerful stuff, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm worried about here, that our deck's not powerful enough. But we'll see, that's just one game. Just one game. Yeah, the 
even worn can draw a card, but again, that slow speed, like that kept my Ash from attacking, right? Like that really hurt with Yi been warned and Caught in the Cold being slow speed. They got to play the, you know, they got to do the stun card in response. All right, so again, our deck has lots and lots of spells, and so we have 18 units that cost less than five mana, and so that's what we mulligan. We're going to be mulliganing for those. I don't know then. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, I like harsh winds more than flash freeze myself. Um, again, this was a this is a deck that a viewer made and submitted. Um, yeah, I like harsh winds more. I think they it can just be more impactful. It can do more. I like them more too. I... Anything else? <laughs> Don't stand in my way. Hmm. Nah. Wait. I mean, we could we could tweak stuff up, and especially like if you know this isn't working, we could definitely change up stuff. Um, usually, I, I like to. Uh, you know, like they donated for the deck. I I want. I want to at least have the people that donate for it tell you know tell me hey feel free to change stuff and maybe they did with this I'm not sure make it worth my while let's see no they didn't they didn't put any notes with it now we're cooking But of course, if the deck just doesn't really work, then, you know, after a couple of games, then we'll switch it for the other two. We're, we're going to play five total games, and so we'll, we'll kind of see after game two or game three if we want to change stuff up for the last two or three games. Turn. Ye been warned. Our very slow spell. Swiftly now. Basically a two for one, because that that traded with my Yi Ben Ward and my Ash. Um, yeah, not looking good. All right, so I guess I'm probably gonna flash freeze Draven. I guess. So much damage. They obviously have this spinning axe that can go anywhere. Time for the money makers. Well, that's not too good for me. I was trying to split it where they could only kill one of my units, but Already perfect. 
This thing does have overwhelm now. No prey, no pay. If it's not scary enough. Time to make some coin. So we're going to have to be using our Fury of the North on defense with that thing. Don't you know it is possible? Hmm. Alright, well I gotta block that thing. This will put me to one at best case scenario. Nah, the third vision. Yeah, I guess I guess you're probably right. I was thinking that I, I had the Fury of the North to block it, but yeah, you're probably right. I probably should have attacked with Misfortune to kill Draven as well. Alright, I think. Person Donny Fred is usually a you know is a person who watches all the time, and I think they wouldn't mind if we change some stuff. Because um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna need just some more card advantage and more units to help curve out and stuff like that. I think that I don't want Yeep and Ward or Caught in the Cold much at all, or really Flash Freeze. Let's try. Okay, so let's we need some things that draw some cards. Let's get Sentry in here. Let's get Babbling Beard. Ooh, Jaw Hunters. Jaw Hunters. Is another good challenger to go with frostbite stuff. And also create some sea monsters for us. So we can have some more late game cards. Hey, nice, Phil. Maybe like two of those, two of these. Okay, I do want harsh winds, though. So that gives me 42. And yeah, I want to be around like the 12 spell, not around 16 spells. I think being around 12 is better. Jaw Hunters and Rhymefang Wolf kind of, you know, so they take up like the same spot. Rhymefang Wolf has not really looked that good. It's super vulnerable to everything. I'm going to kind of split that with two Jaw Hunters, two Rhymefang Wolf. And then top end, we can. I think we can take out one of these. Don't think we need like three Sheriff Lariat. Two's probably just fine. Okay, so that's some some cards that'll get us help us dig deeper a little bit. Um, yeah, so let's try that. Should be able to get us more bodies. Let's try this. Yeah, nice. So we're going to be playing your uh, Zed's Fate deck up next. Okay, we got the same matchup. So we can see how these sentries go. Um, as far as spells go, Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron are a couple of the two best, and I think I would be mulliganing any other spell, but I do want to keep Brittle Steel in this aggro matchup. I do like that one. Omen Hawk is clutch here. Very important blocker. And yeah, like, think of like Avros and Sentry was caught in the cold, or... 
like you know those base you know those replace the cotton the colds and the uh ye ben warns i think these are just much better to get just a body that that trades and draws a card and... Okay, yeah, there's there's definitely like one change I definitely want to make with your deck. Uh, nice fill, let's see. And we'll we'll talk about that after this video. I guess I'm just going misfortune. Looking for trouble. I could double spell with Sentry Archer next turn. Alright. It happens. Ooh. Hmm. Get bloody, get paid. All right, that works. So when they would play something kind of big like that. I was hoping for a champion, but that works too. It's basically our Ice Veil Archer Culling Strike combo, <laughs> right? Basically. It's our version of that. Discard Arena Bookie, no. There's nothing here that I really want to make vulnerable, but I want to play my 5 mana 5-5. Five five. I guess I play this and just have Brittle Steel. I guess. Hmm. This allows me to be able to still play Fury of the North. The like having the two attacks. Mm. I'm not going to play Fury of the North yet. Cause... Huh. Okay. What was the card they discarded? Okay, another bookie. Safeguard our homes. You point, I shoot. That's a good one. The answer is here somewhere. Boo. Yeah, we basically got a four for one, right? Because like our our five five vulnerable there just traded with the the get excited, the arena bookie, the mystic shot, and we also killed their two one for free. So kind of killed four things there with that one card. Oh, I did use Brittle Steel. That's that's a good point. So four for two. Good point. Good call. Faster than my arrow. All right, and we still have Fury of the North available. Don't have any kind of challengers. 
No challengers, no vulnerable. How easy on the hands, they're new. Definitely want to save our champion. Mm. Alright, this is definitely looking better for us. You know, we got that extra card with the Sentry. The Bjerg went and found Ash for us. This is looking better, like, in the late game, where we're not just drowning with heart. You know, drowning without having any cards. No. <laughs> Definitely playing that first to have these two as options. A foray into the field? How exciting. Bilgewater's a mess. Doorbell. I don't really know what that's about. Okay, we can make the blocks however we want. Let's put that. Okay. That works. Alright, be right back. Let me see what this doorbell is about. Alright, be right back. That deck, that match was pretty good. That's we had like some more card advantage and everything like that. <laughs> Puppy. All right, we're gonna mulligan the Lariat Rose. I kind of want to keep Brittle Steel, Darius Vi, but we do need units. But we did, we do have a lot more units in our deck now. Ugh. We'll keep Brittle Steel. No, more spells. I just want the one spell. Would have mulliganed anything else besides the one mana ones. Hmm. I still just block there, even though that's the thing I can challenge. Just saves two life. And yeah, we could use the Brittle Steel, but I don't know. Brittle Steel is pretty valuable. Dang, I was definitely hoping for... I was definitely hoping for a unit to play this turn. Maybe they pass as well. Maybe they're scared. Yeah, I was definitely hoping for like Jaw Hunters, Misfortune, Rhymefang Wolf, Averrosen Sentry, even Omen Hawk. Ugh. Well, I like I like Brittle Steel against four threes. Jaw Hunters, I need you last turn. What are you doing coming up this turn? Let me show you what I can do. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Dang, they're going wide. No backing down. Son of a The return of Noxus. So hopefully we can catch up. We're gonna have, you know, we got some good cards here. Hopefully we can, can stabilize and catch up. I mean, 
We can definitely stabilize on this board. We'll just see what else they got in hand. Nothing but Noxian might. All right, the card's kind of scary. That card's kind of scary. I don't get to brittle steal that also whenever it's attacking. Taking three damage from Basilisk Rider with blocking with Hunter. My axe is ready. Um, I guess we can't take three damage. Can we? Uh, this thing's gonna do one to us anyway. It's gonna put me down to ten. Uh oh. So I have 15 Overwhelm I have to deal with, and I'm going to be at 10 lives. So I have to throw out at least 6 Toughness in front of those. So to keep Ash alive, so block with both of those. But then i got to block here. All right, so I guess this is my best card to play. Strength above all. Run him down! None shall oppose me. Okay, so if we block like this, we're going down to zero. So I can frostbite one of these things to stay alive. If that's the plan, I might as well block like this and then frostbite the Legion Saboteur. And so we go to one. I think that's my best plan. I don't think there's a better one. Got one little life. Hopefully that's all we need is just the one. That's all we need. Of course, the saboteur is vulnerable, so we will be able to kill the saboteur. So it won't do the point of damage to us. They're going to need another card to do the point of damage to us. I was hoping to draw Ash, not Sheriff. You know, like, that's... It's 50-50 whether we're drawing Ash or Sheriff. Um, and of course, because of course the Ash could be another could be a flash freeze against a big overwhelm unit. So that's what I was hoping to find. If they don't break, they oh. burn. Make the Empire proud. Jeez. A lost battle, not a lost war. So that was the turn three, not having anything to do on the turn three. That That's what hurt us really there. Um, you know, just didn't have anything between the hired gun on two and then Ash on four. They had a good curve though. You know, they had Precious Pet on turn one, House Spider on turn two. The 4 3 Overwhelm on turn 3. And then they double spelled with 2 2 drops the Crimson Disciple and House Spider on turn 4. And then they had the 5 4 Overwhelm on turn 5 and Darius on turn 6. Like, that's just a great curve. So, GG's. Alright, we'll just keep this hand. Looks good. 
I may not actually play Icefield Archer on two. We may just pass and wait with Icefield Archer with the Jaw Hunters. A foray into the field? How exciting! Oh yeah. Putting study into practice. Get bloody, get paid. All right, we waiting. Hmm. One of the good guys, but not that good. So of course they can draw more cards and pump up the power of this thing. I think we do trade Misfortune and Draven. I think we've kind of learned our lesson with Draven being super powerful. Okay, okay. Rules are made to be broken. Like Bilbix. Her people. Not my first gun fight. I think this should work. Should work. And Brittle Steel is real good. Hey, Emru. Yeah, Brittle Steel, real good. I wish I could play something else, and they then they play something, and then I go, okay, well, they're killing this thing anyway. Let's say then I Ice Bill Archer. All the world 16 away from deep, so we're basically there. <laughs> We'll just have that in a turn or 16. Don't stand in my way. And these one mana spells are so good. One mana, take down Jinx. One mana, trade with, you know, get excited and spinning axe they discarded. So good. Like these babbling bjergs. Make it worth my while. Good chance they have vision. I don't want to risk having Ash block the one one with vision. Ow! Being a likely thing. Sheriff Lariat Rose is going to be important next turn to be able to allow our. Uh, Ash to just challenge something with zero power. Not starting trouble. Just so I think that's good enough that even though we're single spelling, that that's worth it. I stand for Noxus. stand together. All right, let's see what we got. So that thing's gonna be an O6. Oh, but that thing. Oh no, I don't get to. I don't get to challenge that thing. All right, so we'll have we'll go there. Should we just go here, here, here? Put all my things at one health. They have vision. That's kind of messy. No, we probably we don't want to risk that. Let's go. Let's just have the three two trade with the four three. Yeah, let's do this. Um. 
I guess. I'll just trade with 1-1. One, one. So I want this... We need this Rose to be able to... No. <laughs> I was going to say, we need the Rose to be able to block the crowd favorite. Oh, that's kind of bad. Because now they have Flame Chompers that can challenge the Rose. Alright, that's good. Alright, we're, we're good. What's up, Dewan? I am doing good. Sure, I'll... I will take that. Cool. Idiots. Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I have the best job. There's blood in the water. Alright, give everything vulnerable. Despite that, so I'm, I'm planning on playing Abyssal Eye to be able to strike them and draw another card. This is the only scout, so we'll play this first. Yeah, could double spell though with Babbling Bjerg and Rhymefang Wolf, but Abyssal Eye draws this card. Drawing cards is good. There you go, you got into university today. Congratulations. Do you know what you're going to be studying? My beautiful face. I'm on the verge of something. Should I be double spelling? Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. Time for the main event. So many Dravens. Get out of here. Nope. I, I guess I just trade these. I mean, they're going to trade anyway, right? Like this is a 1-2 challenger. They're going to be challenging this thing anyway. Might as well do it now before more like crowd favorites and stuff come. They get larger because that thing's out there. Okay, going to be doing a chemistry degree. Awesome. No, I mean, we don't get to choose. Like, theirs has Challenger, right? Like, they're going to be able to just challenge my 3-1 with this thing. So, like, my my 3-1 won't be able to kill their 3-3. Even though that, that would be a better trade for me. But, you know, like they, they can just attack and, and have those trade anyway. Yeah, there were some new cards revealed today. Uh, somebody in chat probably has the link to them. I don't have a link to them. Uh, they're basically a bunch of I Ionia units that to deal with support. Is a mountain and covered in ice. So I played the unit that I wanted to block the 4 3. There you go. Tarek has it for you. And see, that's why I challenge, so that that thing isn't as big. You're all over the back. All right, playing the sheriff now because next turn. Oh no, that that costs eleven mana. I was thinking it was three, three, four, but that's four, three, four, four. I can't play all three of these next turn. Stand down. What? Oh, the doors. 
Oh, they're just letting me have the trades that I want. Well, that's good for me. Alright, GG's. Played against that deck a lot. A new Freljord will rise. So a new Freljord will rise. Hey, no problem. Uh talk. Um I recommend checking out check out this site for the news and the uh, the very last, the article, the last article they they just posted a few days ago, it kind of, it explains their plan with um, sets and expansions and things like that. Go go there, uh, check that out. Okay, but anyway, um, I think our deck worked a lot better after the changes um, that we made. We did we went two and one after you know we went 0-2 to begin with, but then we went two and one after our changes. We did lose, we lost that game to Noxus where they had just an incredible curve of one through six, you know, curving out one drop into all that stuff, you know, going up Basilisk Rider, Darius, you know, leveled up Darius, you know, like that, that's nothing, nothing wrong to lose that game, but our deck looked much better afterwards. So when you're, when you're playing like a Misfortune Ash deck like this, that cares about attacking and curving out, you got to make sure that we have enough units to be able to consistently do that. You probably want to be around the 10 to 12 spell range. Um, make sure you have enough units, and of course, you got to have some card advantage. We got to be able to play into some deeper games. That was something that we struggled with before. So I was happy with Jaw Hunters, Babbling Bjerg, Avaros, and Sentry. Just little things like that that can get us some couple extra cards that can make a big difference. All right, so there we go. So that's Frozen Fortune, a fun one to play here of combining um, Frostbite with some bullets, with some guns, with Misfortune. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, of course, and uh, please uh, feel free to leave those comments. I would really appreciate those as always. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.